Hello friends, this video on photosynthesis in higher plants part 10 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now we will talk about the process of photophosphorylation. What is this process? This is the process of ATP synthesis. So this is the process where ATP is getting produced. So first let us try to understand the meaning of this term, phosphorylation. What is the meaning of phosphorylation? It is the process of ATP synthesis in cells. What is ATP? ATP is adenosine triphosphate and it is the energy currency of cell. Who synthesizes ATP inside a cell? If you think of a cell, there are cell organelles like mitochondria which is known as the powerhouse of cell because they synthesize ATP. You have chloroplasts which synthesize ATP. So ATP synthesis takes place inside the cell. Now living organisms store energy. How do organisms store energy? They store energy in the form of bond energy. Right? Now how does this ATP synthesis take place? As I said, these are the organelles where ATP synthesis take place in a cell. This is a mitochondria. This is a chloroplast. Now what is ATP? As I said, it is adenosine triphosphate. ATP is adenosine triphosphate. So here you can see the three phosphate groups. This white silver colored molecules are nothing but phosphate. Phosphorus. So these are phosphate. These are the three phosphate groups. So that is why it is triphosphate. This is a ribose sugar. And what is this? This, this part is adenine. What is adenine? That is an amino acid. You remember when we spoke about the biomolecules, we talked about all these different amino acids. So three phosphate groups when joined to a ribose sugar and an adenine forms the adenosine triphosphate. Adenosine triphosphate. Now when I talk about phosphorylation, that is process of ATP synthesis, that is how ATP is formed. Now this ATP is formed from ADP that is adenosine diphosphate. So from how is it formed from ADP? By adding an inorganic phosphate to ADP. So already two phosphate was there in ADP, it was diphosphate. Now when you add one more phosphate to this, it becomes triphosphate. And this process is known as phosphorylation. That is why it is called phosphorylation. Because you are adding one phosphate group that is phosphorylation. So adding one inorganic phosphate group to form ATP is known as phosphorylation. Now what is photophosphorylation? Photo means light. Now when the process of photo when the process of phosphorylation takes place in presence of light, it is known as photophosphorylation. So ATP synthesis in presence of light. So process of ATP synthesis in cells in presence of light. That is called photophosphorylation. Now what is our aim in the light reaction? In light reaction, we have to utilize the light energy to synthesize ATP. So basically what are we going to do? We are going to do photophosphorylation. That is ATP synthesis in presence of light. Now from our knowledge from the previous slide, we saw that the light can be absorbed using the photosystem. That is using the different pigment molecules and the reaction center. That is how light can be absorbed. Now how that light will get converted into ATP, how that synthesis will happen, that we will understand by understanding the process of photophosphorylation. Now, what, there are two types of photophosphorylation that takes place inside the plant. So, what are the two types? One is non-cyclic photophosphorylation. Non-cyclic, as the name says, it starts from one point and ends at some other point. Let us suppose it started from here. So, the arrow here is a mistake. It, it should happen in the, one, in the same direction. Right? 
So this should also happen in this direction, not in this direction. Right? So it is something like this. It started from here, it went here, it came here and then again it went here. So it started from say point 1, it went to point 2, 3 and 4. So the starting point was 1 but the end point was 4. So that is called a non-cyclic process. So the starting point and ending point will be different. So that is non-cyclic. So non-cyclic photophosphorylation is a process where the process will start at one point but it will end at some other point. So it is not a cycle. And the second one is a cyclic photophosphorylation. Cyclic means let us suppose this started from one. It went through two, it went through three and then it came back to one. So it started from one and it ended at one. So that is a cyclic process. So that is the process of cyclic photophosphorylation. So we will discuss both these processes. First we will talk about non-cyclic photophosphorylation. Then we will talk about cyclic photophosphorylation. So here we will see how exactly ATP synthesis takes place in presence of light. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online test, get free study material, find tutors and mentors. Thank you once again.